two for day two. I'm gonna put some gas in the tank, fire it up and see it just for a second and see if the transmission works. See if it goes backwards and forwards. All right, expensive shit. All right, I put about a quarter of this gas can in. It's about a five gallon gas can. Let's see what happens. Gotta purge the air out. <coughs> oh, she's taking gas. She's taking on gas. Come on. Oops. Uh-oh. I took the battery out of my Honda. And we're going to throw it in this car and see what happens. This is how you hook up a side post or a top post battery in a car that takes the side post. I just piggybacked the positive to the positive, negative to the negative. Pretty simple concept. Nice and snug and tight. Nice big studs. Let's see if we're on our way with our fresh Centennial Automotive battery that's now installed in the car. Let's see what the fuck happens. I'm really pissed right now. Just had her running for a second. I had the damn camera not recording, of course. <laughs> Story of my life. I just want to see if the transmission works. Really quick. Come on, baby. Oh my god, she moves. I move! Yeah! Booyah! Oh yeah! Yeah! Thank you, baby. That's all I wanted to know. Yeah! It lives! Alright, so the transmission shifts. It goes forward and backwards. That's all I wanted to know before I went and spent, go and spend money on the, fixing this car. The transmission fluid looks okay. And uh, see, I got her to move a foot. Yeah. I bet you she hasn't moved from this spot in a while. I want to try this again. This is fun. <laughs> I have to hold the throttle down a quarter of the way. I don't know why. Oops. Uh-oh. You are curious, how many miles are on this pig? 229,590 miles. They don't count that, uh, they don't count the last white number, so there you have it. Transmission works, the engine functions. That's all I needed to know so I could begin re doing repairs on this pig. And I need a starter motor along with a head gasket. That sucks, but there we have it.
I'm going to go and uh, do some other projects and go to work and study. Into this, I uh, broke it open to see what's in here. We have a owner's manual, 1995 Chevy Cavalier. Jeez, this is cool. Here's all the warnings, the signals, and all that other fun stuff. Seat belts, do not lean back. And this car does have airbags. Pardon me. Crash test dummies. This is kind of cool, actually. Luxury. Ooh. We got paper. Um, this car's insurance expired in 2006. I'm not going to show the insurance tag. I have no idea what the hell that is. Here is a passenger car, Lumina minivan. This is a warranty information, which is obviously null and void, obviously, for obvious reasons. <laughs> That's kind of cool to look at some of this stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, and uh, there's a snorkel for the, that's the intake. I got a lot of work to do in this car, but she'll be running and going pretty good pretty soon here. I need to get the, uh, what's called the pink slip or title. To the, or deed, whatever you guys call it, to the car, and uh, I'm waiting on that before I go and uh, tow this back over to my house. I would like to have that piece of paper soon, but time will tell. All right, battery and return it to its rightful place, the Hondu. There's the dead battery that's been sitting in the car since 2008, back when I did car horns on a bicycle. Isn't it ironic? I got a free car horn off a 1995 GM car and put it on a bicycle, and now I have a free 1995 Chevy Cavalier, which runs and the transmission functions. That's funny. It really is. All right. Someone was just commenting on that on the uh, previous video of this car. Gotta love my wiring job. <laughs> All hooked up, now for the negative. I hope I didn't kill this battery. Now let's see if the battery will start this car. I hope it does. I'll have to interrupt my boss who's going, uh, who's watching Super Bowl. Ah, oh, like a champ. There we go. There we are. Good as new.